So today we're going to learn about polygons and its kinds and classifications. So start to start with, we're going to define polygon. Polygon is a closed figure made up of three or more line segments joined at their endpoints. So that's the definition of polygon. So there are um, conditions. So first is it is a closed figure. Next, it should be made up of three or more line segments, and this this line segment should be joined at their endpoints. So example number one. Example number one, that's polygon. This is a polygon because it's composed of three line segments and it's closed and it's at their endpoints. End they are connected at their endpoints. So for, this is also a polygon with how many sides? One, two, three, four, five. Five sides. And how many vertices? One, two, three, four, five. The vertices are the, the endpoints, the connections. This one, is this a polygon, yes or no? It's not, because the first one, it's the first one of the condition is, like it should be line segments, and this is not a line segment because it's a curved line. Next, is this a polygon? It's no, because it is not closed, it's open. Another one is like this. So if this is the example, this is not the polygon because this is connected not on the endpoint, but on the, um, one of the part of the line segment, which is not the endpoint. So this is also not a polygon. So this is not a polygon. This is not a polygon. This is a polygon. This is a polygon with how many sides? One, two, three. So there are also kinds of polygons. So we're going to name each polygon based on the number of sides. So we'll start with three because it's always three or more because you cannot form a polygon with only two sides. So we'll start with three. One, two, three. Three sides is a triangle. So this is the number of sides. This is the name. This is an example. So number four, if there are four sides, so four sides, it's a quadrilateral. So quadrilateral, one, two, three, four. So there are many kinds of quadrilateral. It could be rectangle, it could be rhombus, it could be parallelogram, trapezoid, trapezium, and the square. So those are kinds of quadrilateral. So um, however, if there are four sides, one, two, three, four, it's called quadrilateral. Number five, if there are five sides, it's called pentagon. Pentagon is one, two, three, four, five. Just like a house, it's a pentagon. If there are five sides, it's called pentagon. If there are six sides, it's called hexagon. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's called hexagon. So six, hexagon. If there are seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it's called heptagon. If there are eight, it's called octagon. Nonagon for nine, decagon for ten, and decagon for eleven, the decagon for twelve, and gone for n. So thirteen if thirteen, thirteen gone. So there are also um classifications of polygon based on the um if the line segments if you connect two points if on the polygon. So it's either convex or concave. Convex, if it is a polygon for which any two interior points can be connected by a line segment that stays entirely inside the polygon. So if you're going to connect two points, interior points, example, this is the first point and this is the second point. If, um, if you're going to make this line, it should be inside the polygon. So alam kung ganito at saka ganito, it's, if it is inside the, the polygon, that's a concave, a convex rather. But if one of the se segments that you have made is outside the polygon, it's called concave. Example, um, if this point, as for this point, if you connect them, nasa labas siya ng polygon. So, ibig sabihin yan, it's a concave polygon. So, another classification, kung one of yung mga may, may mga part siya, napapasok sa polygon. Diba dito is palabas siya? Uh, ayun, palabas ito, ito palabas, ito palabas, ito rin palabas. But this one is papasok siya sa polygon. So therefore, it's not a, um, it's not convex but it's concave. So papasok siya, ang direction niya papasok sa polygon. This is the polygon, papasok siya ang sides. Or, if you draw um, a line from a two non-consecutive points, 
it's outside the polygon. Kasi dito naman, kapag kahit ano pang i-draw mo, nasa loob talaga siya ng polygon. But this one, it is located outside. So, it is a concave polygon. Example, another example of a concave is like this. So, so this one. So, papasok rin ito siya. So, if you draw this line from two non-consecutive points, and points or vertices na sa labas siya ng polygon. So, that's a concave polygon. Next, we're going to talk about regular or not regular or irregular polygon. So, there are also e a polygon, it's either also regular or not regular. Regular polygons are polygons which all sides and angles are congruent. So, lahat ng size ng polygons, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, are congruent. So, if ibig sabihin nito, this line, if I make this line, ibig sabihin nito, 1, 2, 3, 4, magkapareho ang haba. This also, the angles in here, are also magkapareho ang laki. So, that's regular polygon. If, imagine this is a perfect regular polygon, so, these angles, itong mga angles na ito, magkapareho ka, kalaki. This side also have the same measure or they are congruent so therefore this is a regular poly polygon. So it means it congruent means they have the same measure, equal measure sila. So kung magkapare yung haba nila, that's uh, magkapare yung habang laki, that's congruent. They are congruent. Not regular kapag hindi naman magkapareho. So ibig sabihin ito at saka ito, diba? They are not, they do not have the same measure. May hindi magkapare yung taas ang Ang taas na ang haba nila. So, they are not equal. They are not congruent. So, it means it is not a regular polygon. It is an irregular polygon. This one, ito at saka ito, hindi sila magkaparin ng haba. So, it's not a regular or irregular polygon. Or not all sides and angles are congruent. So, ito magkapareho silang haba. But this one at saka this one is not are they are not congruent so therefore this is not a regular polygon so this one is not also regular this one is not also regular because this side at saka this side are not congruent next we're going to talk about diagonal diagonal is a segment joining two non-consecutive points so example if this is the polygon tapos um, vertices ito at itong vertex na ito at saka itong vertex pala this should be vertex so, points or vertices. So, ito sila. Kapag i-connect mo ito, this line is called diagonal. Kapag ito naman at saka ito, this line is also another diagonal. So, how many diagonals can you form? One, two. So, there are two diagonals in a square. So, that's a diagonal. If itong mga points, itong vertices na hindi magkadikit o hindi magka magkasunod, if you're going to connect them, that's a diagonal. The line that you use to connect them, that's the diagonal. Next, we're going to have to answer this activ activity. Number one, classify if convex or concave, regular, regular or irregular, and identify the polygon. So first one, we're going to identify first the polygon. Of what kind of polygon is this one? Let's count how many sides. One, two, three. Four. So, if there are four sides, anong tawag sa kanya? It's quadrilateral. So, this is a quadril quadrilateral. Next, let's have convex or concave. Convex or concave is this convex or concave. So, kapag if you draw the, the diagonals, they are inside. So, it's called convex. Very good. Ito, magkapareho bang haba ng mga sides? Magkapareho bang haba ng sides? So, hindi magkapareho ang haba ng sides. So, this is a irregular polygon. Or not regular. It's not regular. Next, this one. How many sides? One, two, three. So, this is a triangle. Very good. It's a triangle. Next, concave or convex? It's convex. Kasi... If you make the lines inside, hindi lalabas. So, that's convex. Next, is this regular or irregular? It's regular. Kasi based on the drawing, ito, this lines, ibig sabihin ito, ang ito, ito at saka ito are 
congruent. So, magkaparo yung haba nila. So, kung magkaparo yung haba nita, nila, this means also, because in a triangle, magkaparo rin ang laki nitong angles. So, that's regular. Next, the number 3, how many sides there are? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6. So, that's a hexagon. Very good. Convex or concave? It's a concave bucket. Kasi ito as a ito if you connect that diagonal na ito nasa labas. So that's concave. Tapos this side papasok siya sa, pol sa polygon. That's concave. Kung papalabas yan siya ganito sana. So it would be convex if that this two palabas. Next, is that regular or not? So it's not not regular or irregular. So next activity. So we have here a one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's a hexagon. Hexagon A B C D E F. So that's the name of the hexagon. It's hexagon A B C D E F. So you're going to use all of the letters to name the hexagon. So hexagon A B C D E F. So that's the given. We're going to answer these questions that follow. Number one, is the polygon concave or convex? So it's convex. Very good. Because if you draw lines in here, it's inside the polygon. Next, how many sides does the polygon have? We have answered that already. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six on sides on polygon. Next, how many possible diagonals can be drawn in the polygon. So we're going to draw the pol the diagonals in the polygon. So we'll start with this point. Itong, from this point, we're going to form diagonals. Again, hindi siya magkasunod. So you cannot make diagonal like this. Dapat hindi magkasunod na point. So first one, two, three. Sorry for that line. We'll start here. This next four, five, six. Okay. Next here, 7, 8. So, it's 8. Sorry for that. Here, 9. So, 9. So, it's done already here. It's done in here. So, the number of diagonals can be formed is 9. So, that's the number of diagonal sign. Next, how many diagonals can be drawn from the vertex D? So only this is vertex D. So how many diagonals can be drawn from that? So you cannot draw a diagonal from here to here because they are consecutive. Again, hindi dapat magkasunod na, na points of vertex. So dito lang. Dito. Asaka dito. Hindi pwede ganito kasi that is the side already. So one, two, three. So there are only three Ver diagonals you could draw from vertex B. So that's how um that's polygon that is polygon and its classification. Thank you.